Hello and limited friends, it's Sarah back again with another question about the law of attraction. The question today is about competition and this question was contributed by Kay. Kay's question is, in a com competition where everyone believes in the law of attraction and everyone is manifesting to win, who will succeed? Fabulous question Kay, thank you for sending it in. Here's the thing. According to law of attraction, everyone can get what they want. There is no restriction because everyone is creating with their own energy. You cannot create for anyone else and no one can create for you. So in a competition, there can only be one winner and that winner is going to be the person with the least number of negative beliefs blocking them, the highest amount of positive momentum carrying them forward. That person will be a winner. If everyone is aware of law of attraction, does not mean that everyone has positive beliefs. If everyone is manifesting, so when you talk about manifesting K, it seems like you're talking about someone opening a can with a can opener. That's not what manifesting is. Manifesting, the process of manifesting, it is not an action. It is a process. The process of manifesting involves many, many forces and ingredients. And all of those forces and ingredients have to be pointing in the right direction in order for a person to win. Even if someone has slightly better belief systems, more positive thoughts, they will win. And what makes it even more interesting, Kay, is the fact that on that day, on the day of the competition, who is in alignment? It's not necessarily the person with the most skill. It's not the person with the most understanding of law of attraction. It is the person who on that day, on at the time of the competition, is in that instant able to give up all their negative beliefs and create huge momentum on a positive belief. And let me give you an example. Many years ago, I was working with a woman. She was my supervisor and she told me a story. The story was about uh, how all things are possible. And she and I were both uh, interested in the, in the law of attraction. And so she shared with me that she was at a party. The party was on a boat the boat was anchored they were still ashore and you know how when you go to a club or uh, uh, all the boats are lined up so the boat was anchored and or moored and what happened is her son was with her and he was eight years old she was busy talking to people and she heard a sound that sound was her son falling into the water, falling between two boats. Now, even if you've never been on a boat, you know that if boats are on water, they are swaying all the time, even if they are anchored, even if they are tied up, they are swaying all the time. And so the danger was that this child was going to get crushed between the two boats. What did she do? She called, she screamed for help. But even as she screamed for help, she wanted to make sure that the boats didn't touch together. And they were very close. They were so close that she was able to reach out and push the boat that was tied up next to the boat that she was on. She was able to push that boat. And allow people to jump, someone jumped into the water and rescued her son. But can you imagine this woman 
skinny being having the strength to be able to push a boat so that she could save her, her son and history news is full of stories of people doing amazing things in that moment she was not thinking that she's not strong enough to push the boat you see that is a negative belief she was she just took action and in that split second all her negative beliefs disappeared and her desire her positive desire was so powerful to save her son and it was in one direction with powerful momentum and so of course she was going to get what she wants and what i want you to understand is that in a race in a competition in any kind of situation where a lot of these things happen in a sales environment where people are being ranked against each other the person who is able to drop all their negative beliefs even though they might have them but in that moment of competition in the moment of the race if they drop all their negative beliefs and they truly start accepting that all things are possible i don't care how i will win i don't know how i will win i will win then that person will absolutely win because that is how law of attraction works when you take away all the negative beliefs that are blocking success then you will succeed and the person with the least amount of negative beliefs and the most amount of positive momentum momentum of desire the one who desires it the most so everyone who joins a race wants to win the race but everyone's desire about winning is not the same size desires don't come in the same size and you can never know whose beliefs are the most positive and whose desire is the biggest who has the most positive momentum you can never know because words do not reflect vibration exactly because a lot of times people will say oh yeah i don't really want that but they don't mean it in their heart they want it a lot and sometimes people will say oh i want that so much but in their hearts they don't really they wouldn't they don't even care so a lot of times people will give you the answer that they think you want to hear from them and not really share how they actually feel inside so okay i hope that that answers your question and i can tell you that doesn't matter how many negative beliefs you have you can let them go like that and sometimes we the situation is not dire enough to put us in a place where we can drop all our negative beliefs and in that case we have to work on our negative beliefs to deactivate them deactivate their hold on us and we have to put into place new beliefs and then we have to practice those new beliefs in order to create enough positive momentum